Poco X5 5G is here, finally. The long wait is over. The successor to the popular Poco X4 Pro is now here. I wait, not the Poco X4 last year. 4 Pro lang. But I feel like this is more difficult, Finally, a lot of fans have been waiting for this to come in our country. Ever since the Poco X3 has arrived a few years ago, now sobrang meta nun. Ang daming na baliw sa Poco X3. X4, mm, sakto lang. But the X3, wow. Actually, sa sobrang ganda ni Poco X4 Pro 5G, binigay ko sa akin nanay. Sabi niya, ang ganda daw. Tagal maubos ang battery. Ganda ng camera. Mabilis. Doon siya madalas nanonood ng kanyang K-drama. And that, my friends, is yung Poco ng ina ko. Pero ano bang meron dito? Snapdragon 695 5G, 5,000 milliampers of battery, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, 48 MP triple camera setup, 120 Hz Samsung AMOLED display. Actually, kahit si Apple gumagamit ng Samsung OLED. FYI, lahat po ng iPhone gumagamit ng Samsung OLED. But yes, meron kailangan saguting tanong ito si Poco X5 today. And that is, is it worth the upgrade from the Poco X4 Pro 5G or upgrade sa yung phone yun? Let's find out. It's si Bins and you're watching Unboxed Ladies. Woohoo! By the way, I am giving away the Poco X5 5G to one lucky subscriber. Kaya mag-subscribe ka na. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Also, check out the description below for more information on mechanics. Good luck! The box, very similar. Black and yellow with your favorite Google Apps. Google is a trademark of Google LLC. Hindi na siya with easy access to the Google Apps you use the most. Favorite na po, favorite Google Apps. Kadalasan mga Xiaomi phones ang meron ganito. I'm not sure why. Pinapamukha niya siguro kay you know who. Kasi yung sa walang Google, dumipat yung like ka. Tama niyan. Maka matanggal pa tayo sa list. Again. Not again. Here we go. Ah. Masigip pa. Fresh. Virgin. SIM. At check our pin. And sa loob, marami. Marami to. Warranty card. Ayan. Quick start guide. Tama niya. Safety information guide. And the jelly case. And right inside, we got a plastic. And inside that plastic is the phone. And we have specs. And underneath, we got the ooh, USB Type-C cable. And... The 32 watt fast charger. And that's pretty much it. Alright, ito na. Ooh. So, ito na yung ng Poco X5 5G. Naku, mas elegant siya ngayon. Akala nyo, glass back siya. Kamukha niyo mga flagship phones ngayon, guys. No? It has that nice, elegant, gradient back design. Kapag tinataman ng ilaw, hindi siya parang reflective. No? Parang siya meron siyang frosting na konti. It goes from black to gray and things like that. By the way, there are other colors right now. Black lang alam namin. And you also get the Poco Signature Camera module right there. Yes, kapag nakita yung ganitong classing design, alam nyo yung Poco agad yan. It has been there sa kanilang mga Poco M series. But surely, mas elegant po, mas premium po looking ang Poco X5 compared sa M series nila. Actually, for me, mas social sa tingnan kasi sa Poco X4 Pro 5G last year. This one looks a lot more like a flagship phone than a mid-range phone. And yung kanyang camera module, look at that. Does that resemble something? iPhone? And you guys, ang okay dito is meron pa siyang 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens which is tinatanggalan ng mga ibang phone makers. Ngayon kasi guys, main camera na lang at isang depth sensor. Wala ng ultra wide, tinatanggalan na lahat. Kumbaga ngayon, paunti na lang ng paunti mga camera. But Poco has retained a triple camera setup na usable 48 MP main sensor. 8MP ultra wide at 2MP macro lens. And we have LED flash on the code. We get the 5G right here. And we have CE text. Ganyan sa, sa Xiaomi lang meron ganito eh. CE, CE. Para do malaman na global siya, global version. Na. In China version kasi guys, walang ganito. Okay. It is still a curved phone. No? Akala ko kasi puro box type na po ang inalabas last year or baka this year. Puro na box type. But no, it's a curved phone. Actually, okay na para sa akin kasi nga mas masarap po hawakan ang curved phone. Very ergonomic, pang matagalan. Ka-shape ng ating mga kamay. But of course, this is not glass back. This is a, this is plastic. Alam ko yun eh. Kapag glass cold to the touch, ito medyo mainit-init pa. Ito ay plastic body rin. It's nice. It's wide. It's also very light. Yes, cover natin yung sides niya. Headphone jack na sa taas, very great for music lovers. Perfect position. IR blaster, microphone. Sa right side, power button, volume rockers. Sa ilalim, microphone, USB Type-C port, 
and the speaker, it's only one speaker. Sa left side naman is SIM tray, naka hybrid SIM slot siya guys. Isang dedicated at isang optional for the SIM card or SD card slot. And here we go. Oh my God, ang ganda ng display. Looks like we have a winner. I always tell this in my videos, no? Na display is everything to me. Isa akong display guy. Mahilig ako sa mga displays. Mahilig ako sa TV. Mer guys, meron ako tatlong TV sa bahay. I love visuals. And that is why for me, sobrang importante po ng display. Diyan po ginagawa lahat. Not only are you watching, you're also touching it. It's where you'll interact with your phone. Lahat po ng activities nyo, andyan. But yeah, 6.67 inch. Big. 120 hertz Samsung AMOLED display na po to. 1080p. And it looks like sobrang bright siya. Up to 1,200 nits of peak brightness. Well, hindi siya flagship bright, but bright siya. And it looks like it's pretty usable sa labas. Just not super bright, super readable. But inside, indoors, sobrang klaro niya. Navigation looks pretty smooth. Look at that. Walang kalaglag. Ang bilis. But does it have HDR? A few inches later, Okay, wala siyang HDR capability, so ayun na naman. Sayang na, I was expecting more. Okay? <laughs> Kasi in 2023, important na para sa akin merong mga HDR yung mga smartphones. Para sa akin na naman, oh, the difference between 1080p and 4K ay medyo maliit lang. Maliit. Pero the difference between SDR and HDR, guys, it's a game changer. Isipin nyo guys, yung kwarto, madilim, biglang, nagkaroon ng ilaw, ganun po ang difference. Lahat makikita nyo. Klarong klaro na masyado. But yeah, ako naman siya dito. Up to 1080p yung kanyang content sa YouTube. Everything that I see here looks very sharp. The color is pretty punchy. Lahat po ay kumikinang sa aking mata. Pero that's a games din. Sobrang ganda ng graphics. Ito rin yung epekto ng AMOLED display. Sometimes nung no, maganda yung ating processor, yung ating RAM. Kaya lang kasi limited by the display lang din. No? Uh, minsan dry siya tingnan, dull. Pero kapag ka nag-amulid na kayo, dito talaga yung parang makikita yung big jump in terms of graphics. Parang mas maganda na siya tingnan talaga. Especially sa Mobile Legends na very colorful yung itong game na to. It really is emphasized by the beautiful, colorful display of this phone. Also napansin ko, ang thin ng display. no Almost bezel-less. It's flat, may konting chin. But it does have a big punch hole. Para sa akin, wala pa siya innovation for the Poco X5. Uh, wala pa masyadong big innovation na natin sa smartphone ngayon. Actually, hinihintay ko yung dynamic island sa mga Android phones like this one. Ayan o. Oh. Yes. Wala pang ganyan sa mga Android ngayon. Except for a few. Now, in terms of performance, yes, ito na hinihintay nyo. Kasi last year, nasa 300,000 pa rin si 6955G Qualcomm processor. What is its stance? Sana siya banda. Okay, so this year, umabot na siya now 402,000 points and tutu benchmark. That is pretty fast. Actually, with that speed, kaya mo mag-ultra graphics sa Mobile Legends, high refresh rate with no problems at all. Kasi walang lag talaga kami na experience. It is a very smooth experience sa Mobile Legends. Tara po. So while we're playing, Ayun, napansin namin, ang smooth niya all throughout. And we're very comfortable when playing the game dahil po sa kanyang curved body. Ayun, so, ayun lang po yung problema ng mga box-type phones. Hindi sila ganoon ka-ergonomic. Medyo, mga nga yung kamay nyo. Hindi katulad ng mga phones na ganito, curved yung kanilang likod. But yes, going back sa performance, naku, ang ganda niya sa Mobile Legends. Wala din mistouch, no? Yun nga lang, we, we are wishing for an update para magkaroon siya ng at least super refresh rate. At least lang, ha? Baka sa pagka-ultra-ultra, baka hindi niya kayanin yung... 120 sa ultra refresh rate. Ayun. I also noticed that it has a very wide display. Like, antay mo pwede makita kasi yung ibang phone, medyo manipis sila, medyo payat. So, wala ka masyado makita sa surrounding small sa game. Dito, dito guys, marami kayong pwede makita. It's, it's actually a good gaming phone. For me, leverage yun, no? yung medyo wide, medyo malaki yung playing field. Yung nga yung mga advantage ng mga naka-iPad, di ba? Taya. But yes, ito pa yung Call of Duty gameplay. Just in case, di pa rin sawa. Max frame rates. Pero, hanggang high graphics lang. Kung gusto ng very high, at very high, ayan. Overall, smooth yung game. That's all I can say. Kasi nag-move on na ako sa ibang game. Na joke lang. I'm pretty sure magiging masaya pa rin dito. Great graphics, complemented by the beautiful, bright display. No mistouches. Very accurate controls. Very nice. Now, in 2023, no, sa Genshin Impact, uh, naka-low medium pa rin yung ganitong klaseng performances. It means hindi ganun ka-optimize pa rin yung mga ganitong klaseng processors for that game. Medyo malag siya guys so kapag ka-high, very high, ultra. It's just that it's not built for that game. There are some Poco phones na alam ko na sobrang, sobrang optimized 
4 Genshin, uh, X4 GT, Xiaomi 12T. Yan, yung mga dapat yung tingnan, guys. Pero hopefully, Poco X5 GT this year. But yes, Genshin Impact, this is what you'll get. Don't expect too much. Low, medium graphics yung pinap playable sa kanya. Looks like ito ay Xiaomi din, kasi gumagamit siya ng MIUI for Poco. Meron siyang drawer. Uh, feels like stock Android na may konting MIUI. And yes, meron na siya mga apps na naka-install agad. Just in case na baka daw gusto nyo. Like si Lazada. Meron pang mga games, si Bubble Shooter, Jewels Blast. Ayan no? so inunahan na kayo. Meron na agad naka-install dyan. Very nice. And yes, meron siyang Googles. Yun. May YouTube na, YouTube Music. Pero syempre, gusto mo siyang gawing daily driver mo. Hindi lang pang gaming, but also for taking pictures, assignment, pang group photos, pang selfie non-stop sa inyong kwarto. Check natin yan. Now, in terms of pagsa-selfie, wala naman sa nag-selfie ng ganito. Guys, ganito po mag-selfie ang mga tao. Yan. See that? Aminin, meron kang 200 photos na ganito yung mukha mo paulit-ulit. Wala kang binago sa posisyon mo. But yes, I find the selfie camera. Wait, ano ba yung megapixel dito? 13 megapixels. Ah, okay naman yung kanyang sharpness. It looks clean. Actually, okay sa akin yung kanyang beautification. It looks very fresh. Hindi siya na OA. Parang bagong ligo lang, ayun. Kung mahilig ka mag-selfie, I think you'll fall in love with the selfie camera. But talking about that 48MP camera sa likod, eto na po yung mga nakuha namin. Look at that. Ang linis tingnan. Ang galing, no? Ang ganda ng kuha. Claro. The sky is super blue. And the fauna looks so nice and textured. Ganda, guys. Ganda na kuha. Although, syempre, may mga problema like sa dynamic range. There, there are some... May mga parts pa rin na hindi okay. But, in terms of sa overall picture quality, I would have to say na nasa top siya ng mga mid-range phones in terms of camera quality. It may not be like a level of image quality. Kasi guys, walang like kasi Poco. Kaya, kaya Xiaomi lang gan. But yes, okay yung color. Not super accurate, but Maganda siya tingnan. Instagram ready siya agad. Oh, by the way, may siya ultra-wide angle lens. Ito yung itsura niya. Which means it's very versatile. Maraming pwedeng gawin. Okay din yung background blurring. But, syempre yung cuts. Not super perfect. Ito may yung video. So, unfortunately, wala siyang 60 frames per second. At hanggang 1080p video lang siya. Ito yung quality ng camera. As you can see, sakto lang. Well lit lahat. And the sharp mo na tingnan. Okay siya pang vlog. But yeah, could have used 4K, 60. Pwede kaya naman ng processor, I guess. Pero, it's limited by the Snapdragon 695 5G. Ganon, masyadong malapit yung selfie camera. Parang crush ako na na masyadong malapit. Close, FC. But yeah, this is the selfie camera. And yun nga lang yung problema, masyadong siya malapit guys. Feeling ko dahil yung stabilization na in-apply niya, uh, there's too much of a crop in this video. So kailangan mag-stretch out a bit like this. Pero for me, malinis siya tingnan. Sharp na siya and May beautification sa video. Ito based up on a night mode. If you want to totally enhance your night photos, better exposure, mas malinis, less noise. Ayan po yung night mode. Meron din siyang pro mode. You also get the histogram right there. And it looks like photo lang po yung pro mode. Wala pong video. But it does have a lot of options here. Voice shutter. Bago na. Focus peaking, exposure verification, time bursts, along with other settings dun sa kanyang pro mode, which is nice. Now, how much is the Poco X5? Ito na pa yung price. 14,999 pesos. 6,128. Pero para sa akin, plus 1K lang. 15,999 pesos. Meron ka ng 8,256. And by the way, sabay din lumabas pala si Poco X5 Pro with much better specs. Ito naman ay 16,999 pesos, 6,128. And meron siyang 18,999 pesos, 8,256. Now for me, okay na ako siya for the price, no? Uh, the thing that really nagdala sa kanya is yung kanyang display. Ganda. So bright, so vibrant. Okay na rin yung camera. I, I find it really nice as well. Mobile Legends, perfect. Walang problema. Call of Duty, Good then. Wala na siyang masyadong game changer na features na I could really, you know, say na, ah, this is going to be a big upgrade from the Poco X4 Pro 5G. Wala po. Kaya kung meron Poco X4 Pro 5G ngayon, I don't think so. Hopefully lang paglobas yung Poco X5 GT. Ayun. And the Poco F5 GT. Pero kung na-inlove kayo sa phone ito ngayon, huwag na kayo magdalawang isip. Kasi alagang alaga kayo ni Poco. Dead but no more. But yes, don't forget our giveaway ng Poco X5 GT. And for more giveaways and videos just like this, mag-subscribe ka lang. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. I'm Vince, and you're watching 
Einfach Sadies. Uhu. 